today is going to be so exciting. Next to me is the brand new Corvette E-Ray. Now, I've done a few videos about this in the past, most recently because this is the brand new cover car for the new Forza Motorsport, but I've never actually got to get behind the wheel and drive it. But today, that's all going to change. So let's hop in. I really want to go through a drive through like maybe a Starbucks or like a Wendy's, McDonald's, In-N-Out. I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Us eating pretzels. <laughs> This interior is called Artemis and this exterior is also a new color. It's called the Sea Wolf and it is so beautiful. If I was gonna get this car, I would definitely do the Sea Wolf. I am obsessed with it. For the interior though, if it was my car, I would definitely get a little wild and do some fun colors. You can customize so many different things on their website. And the first time that I looked, I was like, okay, this is overwhelming, but I love that there's so many different options that you can choose from. So the interior of this does have a very similar feel to a Stingray, but because this is an E-Ray, that's where the electrified boost comes in. So I want to give you guys a demo of stealth mode. So this will allow you to jump into the battery mode. So you basically will not hear a single engine. So this is great if you're pulling out of your garage at like 6 a.m. and you don't want to wake your neighbors. So now we're popping it into stealth mode. So we have normal, we've got shuttle, and then we just cruise over here to stealth. Now when I actually start the motor, you're going to hear nothing. Nothing's going to happen. Silence. Here we are. Okay, let's drive away. It's so quiet! Oh man, <laughs> wow! So now I'm gonna turn off stealth mode and you can hear what this actually sounds like. Chicken nugget happy meal. What toy do you think that we're gonna get? It looks like it's Pokemon. You love Pokemon. <laughs> Where's the toy? Oh my god, they're Pokemon cards. No way. Thank you. That's so good. First, I'm gonna feast on my nuggets. I'd offer you one, but you don't eat meat. So far, this has been so much fun. We've also had a lot of strangers coming up and asking about the vehicle because Technically, as of now recording this, not really very many of these on the road because they are just going into production, so making some friends. Um, where should we go next? Anywhere we want. Sounds good. I gotta move on. so unique is the fact that it does have this electrified boost. Now, I haven't driven that many Corvettes to really be able to give you like some sort of side-by-side -side comparison, but I did recently go to Spring Mountain Resort in Vegas and drive the Stingray around a track. So, for me, just coming off of that and then taking this car out around the street has been a really cool comparison. But what I really like is that electrified boost. Now, I would not call this car, technically, I guess it's a hybrid because it does have a battery, but this is not something that is made to be driven as an electric car. Now, it has that electrified boost just to really give you that extra power, which is pretty impressive, especially right off the line. 
about the battery is there is a little button right here on the side that you can press and as you're driving it'll automatically regenerate the battery for you so you don't have to plug it in you don't have to charge it'll automatically do that while you're driving so when you're in the electric mode you can drive up to about four miles or when you reach 45 miles an hour it'll automatically engage the engine so it's definitely not something that you're going to be driving around town in electric mode i mean you can but again only up to four miles or when you hit 45 miles an hour. So now this car will go zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds, which is the fastest Corvette so far in history, which is pretty impressive. Now having just recently driven the Stingray, I do feel like this has a very similar feel to it. So if you are someone who doesn't want to stray too far away from something that you're comfortable and familiar with, with Corvette, I mean, I don't have a ton of experience driving these cars, but for me, having raced this around the track and now racing around Los Angeles, it does have a very similar feel, like the interior, the seats, like everything is just, it just feels cozy and comfy. Another thing that's really fun is you can record your rides. Now this isn't new to the E-Ray, you could also do this in the Stingray as well, but you have the ability to go in and record to an SD card and you can put the SD card right here in your dashboard. And right now it says I can record up to a thousand hours just on this 128 gig SD card. And it does record 1080p and you can choose what type of layover you wanna have. So right now I have mine in sport mode, you can change it to have none, and this will give you different types of specs depending upon what mode you have. Going up. Whoa. Oh. It's like a transformer. It's really cool. This is very nice. I'd like to do an unboxing of our Pokemon cards. <laughs> Here we go. This is the good stuff, right? Here we're driving again. So I'm not unboxing? Oh, yeah. Pause. Yeah. Oh man, that was so much fun. All right, Jen, what did you think? It's so much fun. I'm very jealous that I didn't get to drive it. You literally were like, hey, look out your window yeah. this morning. And I look out my window and I'm like, pick me up. What? Check this out. We've got a frunk. <gasps> Let's see. You didn't show me the frunk. Oh! Yeah, so it does have a trunk and a frunk. Look how much space we have. That's actually pretty pretty decent. Yeah. Look at this. We've got a snack nut. We do have a lot of snacks back here. But since this is the convertible version, the trunk is a little bit smaller because you do need kind of a place to put the top. Thanks for the ride though, yeah, Jess. Yeah, thanks. See you later. Bye. Let's, oh, okay. Chat. I guess I'll go home now. Um, okay. See you later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun driving the E-Ray around today. And even though I do have to give this back, I'm really, really sad, but thankfully Forza is now out so I can at least play a virtual version. I definitely look forward to hopefully driving this around again. I would love to take it to the track and hopefully we'll have some more car content here because I'm, I'm obsessed now. See you guys in the next video. Bye.